episode 43.8 week 40 costs from the 28th of September to the 4th of October. As usual the setups in the description below but moving straight on to Monday the 28th of September we had a cost of 36 pence for 5.71 kilowatt hours which was an average cost of 6.22 pence per kilowatt hour. On Tuesday the 29th of September we had a cost of 97 pence for 11.57 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 8.43 pence per kilowatt hour. On Wednesday the 30th of September we had a cost of £1.18 for 13.42 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 8.77 pence per kilowatt hour and that was the highest average of the week. On Thursday the 1st of October we had a sudden change on the 1st of October the central heating started kicking in quite considerably so on the 1st of October we had a cost of £1.59 for 21.31 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 7.45 pence per kilowatt hour. On Friday the 2nd of October we had a cost of £2.49 pence which was the most expensive day of the week and that was for 37.43 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 6.66 pence per kilowatt hour. And moving on to the weekend, on Saturday the 3rd of October we had a cost of £2.31 and that was for 43.33 pence per kilo, sorry, 43.33 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 5.33 pence per kilowatt hour. And on Sunday the 4th of October we had a cost of £1.27 but that was for 47.13 kilowatt hours and the average cost was only 2.69 pence per kilowatt hour. That gave us a weekly cost of £10.17 pence, and when you include the VAT and the daily charge that took the cost to £12.14 and the week Weekly averages were 6.7 pence from what we drew from the grid, including any VAT and daily charges. And when you ins include the solar contribution, that brought the average price down to 5.3 pence per kilowatt hour. And the yearly averages are now 5.9 pence from what we've drawn from the grid. And when you take into consideration what we've generated from the solar, that brought the average price for the year of 3.5 pence per kilowatt hour. And to summarise up until week 40 of 2020, we've now done 4,309 miles charged from home. We've imported 7,716 kilowatt hours. We've had a solar contribution of 3,532 kilowatt hours. So that, that's a total of 11,248 kilowatt hours at a cost of £478.40. pence. We've had a gas cost of £57.80, so we've had a total utility bill of £536.20. We've had three FIT payments of £1,733.53, so the balance on the utility bill up until week 40 of 2020 is minus £1,197.33p, including any VAT and daily charges. As usual, thanks for watching. And if you've got any comments or questions, please add it to the section below. And please like and subscribe.